Hi. Do you see that your audience goes to sleep the moment you show numbers on your slides? I'll show you a few simple tips you can follow in your next presentation that will keep your audience hooked even when you show data slide after slide. By the way, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The best way to learn how to improve your number slides is to make over a real number based slide from SlideShare. Here is the slide from the presentation called a complete guide to the best times to post on social media. Now take a look at the slide for 5 seconds. Okay, now tell me what is the main point of the slide? Could you answer that? Now look at the same information presented in a different way. Now tell me what is the main point of the slide? Yes, the main point of the slide is most brands publish their blogs during the work week rather than on weekends. It took you the same 5 seconds to make sense of this slide. If your audience can't understand the core message of your slide in 5 seconds or less, there is a high chance that they might disengage. Most number based slides confuse the audience by giving too much information in a disorganized way. Remember the famous saying, a confused mind always says no. So your audience tunes out of your presentation and your presentation fails. So the question is, what are some of the simple things we can do to ensure that our audience understands our number slides quickly and clearly and stay with us throughout our presentation? The answer is, there is a lot you can do. In fact, we have an entire program that shows you how to do visual makeover of your slides. It is available as part of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. You can find a link to the program in the description box below the video. In this video, I'll share three simple and practical tips to improve your data slides. The first thing you do before you create a number based slide is to answer this key question. What is the one message I want my audience to take away from my slide? And that message needs to be simple and clear and you put that message right up front on the title of your slide. Remember, your slide title is the first thing your audience sees as soon as you show them the slide. Now, once your audience gets a clear idea of what the slide is all about from the slide title, then their eyes naturally move down to look for evidence of what is said on the title. So naturally, you will use the slide area to prove the claim you made on the title. The key thing, however, is to show the proof in a way that your audience can understand quickly. And that happens when you visualize the numbers as a chart. Now let us compare this slide with the earlier slide. Now take a look at the slide title here. It says Days Most Brands Blog. Does that give you any idea of what the slide is about? Now take a look at this slide title. It says 87% of blogs are published during work week. A simple and clear statement of what this slide is going to be. Now let us see how the proof is organized. Here you can see that the numbers are lost in a lot of text. Your audience doesn't have the patience to sift through so much text, pick out the numbers and visualize the relationship between those numbers. As a presenter, it is your responsibility to process the information and present it in a way that your audience understands the information quickly. And the last tip is, if you have any key takeaway from the slide, then emphasize that takeaway with a visual cue like this. In this case, the key takeaway is if you want to be successful in publishing your blogs, then choose Tuesdays and Wednesdays, which is the best practice followed by most successful brands. So my narration for the slide would be, studies have shown that most successful brands publish their blogs during work week rather than on weekends. Here is a chart that shows the percentage of blogs published during different days of the week. You would notice that a whopping 36% of the blogs are published during two work days which are Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So if you want your blog to be successful then you can follow the best practices of successful brands and publish your blogs during Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So isn't this slide clear and memorable? 
That is how you create your number-based slides. To summarize, you first lead with conclusion. Have a crystal clear image of what your slide is going to be even before you create your number-based slide and put that message right up front on the slide title. Second, you visualize with charts so it is easy for the audience to see the proof of the claim you make on the slide title. And third, emphasize the key takeaway with a visual cue like this so your audience knows what to focus on on the slide and get the takeaway that you want them to get from the slide. So did you like these three simple tips to improve your data slides? Then you will really love our short playlist of videos that show you how to improve your data slides. All you need to do is to click on the link here and start watching the videos to improve your data slides and make sure that your audience stays with you throughout the presentation. Go ahead, click on the link and start watching the videos right now.